Right, there are seven more sleeps until Christmas, and this will make a lovely Christmas present for somebody. She's called Rybank. She's a 58-foot semi-traditional narrowboat, built just up the road from here, actually, at Milburn Boats near Staverton in 2007. She was repainted in 2018 by Andy Russell. The paint works in nice condition. She was just blacked in January 2021. The engine was just serviced in August this year, 2021, and she... She offers a lot of space, six berths at the moment. It's a lovely layout you'll see as we go through. Portholes at the back of the boat. There's a super wide side hatch here with a roof hatch. It's 33 inches wide, I've measured that at. There's a perspex screen for that as well. Self-seeking satellite on the roof there. And the water tanks in the bows there, it's integral. 454 litres. And I've seen a couple of these boats in the last year or so. so it's a very deep well deck that makes a lovely sitting area. And it's deep because the front doors are more like French windows. You walk straight through from the well deck into the sitting room without any steps going down. The storage in here, the bow thruster guts of her in there. That's a Nobel hydraulic bow thruster, six horsepower and storage and um, navigation equipment in that seat. So these are bifold doors, they fold all the way back. Really nice. Makes the living room really light. <clears throat> there you go. And then we go. The saloon itself, seven feet four inches long. Head height on the boat, six feet four. There's a dinette area here. There are two tables for there, a single one and a double one. There's a stove, it's a villager multi-fuel stove. There's a wall-mounted 22-inch TV DVD combo there. I've mentioned the self-seeking satellite. These chairs are very comfy actually. They turn into beds, single beds each of those, are chair beds, storage underneath those. The dinette itself turns into a spare double berth and there's copious storage underneath. You could see six around here quite comfortably. There are a couple of collapsible chairs on the boat, so it's a good sized dining table. Quite a useful cupboard in between the dinette area and the galley. And this is quite novel. It's a bit of a storage area there and it's a hanging wardrobe area further back. Very useful. I suppose you put shoes and things in there. So into the galley, nine feet three inches long. Little shelves there under the side hatch. You can see the perspex screen for the side hatch on the right hand side of the screen there. The worktops in here are Corian. There's a nice eye level oven and grill. So Spinflow Midi Prima Mark III, if that means anything to you. And under here is a 12 volt freezer. It's a shoreline. That is one place you could put a washing machine on this boat if you didn't want the freezer, but there is another option. Good size cupboard there. Stainless steel sink. I think I said the worktops are Corian. If I did, you've heard it twice. If I didn't, you've heard it once. So there we go. Good size storage cupboards under the sink. A couple of quite deep drawers. And this one of those carousel cupboardy things. And over here you have the fridge, that's a 12 volt shoreline as well. There's no ice box in this one. It gives you quite a lot of extra fridge space actually. And the four burner gas hob is there. Very good size kitchen actually, nine foot over nine feet long. On we go. The table stalls under the gunnels here actually, the table where the dinette is. That's the single one I mentioned. So here's the bathroom. This is a good size room. Nearly eight feet long. 
There's a shower over the bath there. There's a trifold door. That's the screen. There's a radiator there. The basin is ceramic, covered underneath. And here's the first of two pump out loos on board. It's a traveller, a Dometic Sealand traveller, ceramic, that loo is. Good size cupboard there. Yeah, pretty spacious room this is. Lovely bath as well. Portholes to the back of the boat. Now they're 15 inch portholes, they all open. And here's the bedroom. 12 feet long. The bed itself is 6 foot 4 long, 4 feet wide, but it does extend to 5 feet wide. <clears throat> Reading lights and cupboards over the head end. Lovely tongue and groove on the walls in here. She's fitted out in a mixture of ash and maple faced ply. Another television DVD combo on the wall at the foot of the bed. <clears throat> the storage under the bed, including that drawer. And that's the one of the three things that pulls out to stretch the bed. It's a good size cupboard here with a mirror on the inside of the door and under here's another sort of hanging wardrobe. Central heating on board is an Aldi gas system, that's the boiler. And in here is the second loo. It's another pump out, it's ceramic, there's a basin. So this is the other area where you could, if you didn't want a second loo, make into a bit of a utility room with the washing machine in and storage. And under the steps there is the inverter and the galvanic isolator. The inverter is sterling 1600 watt. Various isolation switches there. That's the galvanic isolator underneath. So 12 volts on board. You've got four domestic batteries, 120 amp hours each. They were all brand new in October 2020. And 230 volts, you've got either a landline or the inverter. All the lighting's LED, two 13 kilo gas bottles in there. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. It's a lovely rear deck, this actually. The engine's under here, it's very quiet, there's a hospital silencer on it, it's a nanny diesel. PRM 260 gearbox, the batteries are on the right hand side of the screen. And the Morse controls on the left. I mentioned the bow thruster. Let's have another quick walk back through the boat. Hot water is heated by the Aldi gas boiler or the engine. Four hundred and fifty odd litre water tank, and she comes with all the navigation equipment ready to just go, including um, an anchor with chain and warp. Really lovely boat. She, she's got quite a lot to offer. So there we go. That's Rybank. For further information, fully downloadable colour brochure and the spec, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk. I'd like to wish everybody a very, very happy Christmas and all the best for next year.